I always hate seeing these comments. Peach is a great character for everyone at all levels of play, and everyone should give her a try. Not only is she an easy S tier character, she is also a ton of fun to play, in my opinion. Hopefully by the end of this video, I will convince you that you only need to learn three techniques in order to play this character. Here are the three techs you need to know, and trust me, they aren't too bad. Don't believe me? Well, what if I told you that the best peach in the world, Samsora, almost exclusively uses only these three techs? Now I know what you're thinking. It's peach, so don't I need to spend hours in training mode to learn these techs? The answer to that is no. In fact, I would argue that these techs can be learned rather quickly, and you can start trying them out in actual matches right away. Let's learn all three of these techs together in this video. Alright, I'm going to start with the most difficult tech, so let's start from the basics and then we'll build up to it. Peach's primary ability is Float, which can be activated by holding down Jump and Down anytime you are in the air. As you can see, you do not need to hold down on your control stick to continue the float. Just let go of Jump when you're done. By holding down and Jump at the same time from the ground, you get what's called a Ground Float. Again, you don't need to be holding anything but Jump after you leave the ground. Just let go of the jump button when you want to fall. Alright, let's put this tech on the move. Ground floating can be done from standing still, we just saw that. You can also do it out of a walk to slightly drift forward. This is done by pushing your control stick slightly forward and then down before pressing the jump button to float. The same thing can be done with a dash, but with pushing the control stick all the way to the side of your controller. Please note that for all these, Every control stick input should be done before you leave the ground, so you're only holding jump in the air. The last spacing option I'll go over is the RAR ground float. This one is hard. You have to do the dash input, but then quickly turn your character around before you hold down and float. Note that the backwards drift you get from this is all from the initial dash, as you are not holding the control stick in any direction while floating. This is really just a safer dash attack, so don't worry if you can't get it. Let's add some aerials. While in ground float, you can do any of your aerials and release jump, landing on the ground to cancel their lag. You need to learn the timing of when you release jump, because each aerial starts and ends after a different number of frames. A few things to note when you are practicing this, neutral air is the fastest, and you actually need to release jump before you nair, or else you get a suboptimal, less safe neutral air. Upper actually has two sets of hitboxes. If you let both hits connect, you will get standard knockback, but if you land before the second hitbox comes out, it's drag down. This is how you get up air loops that you commonly see in videos. Alright, so now you've learned your ground floats. What can you do now? Well, you now have access to 99% of Peach's impressive combo game. You also get great substitutes for Peach's below average ground normals. You get some of the best ledge trapping in the entire game and you get access to some insane pressure that only Peach has. In general, ground floats open up a lot of Peach's movement in neutral and are a big part of why she is so good. If this all seems too complicated, don't worry, it might take a bit of practice. But if you've made it this far into the video, I promise you, it's all downhill from here. Alright, this one's going to be way easier. Remember what I said about holding down and jump to float? When you're approaching the opponent, you want to jump and flick down so that you initiate float right above the opponent's head. Remember that every character is a slightly different height, and in general, you want to float so that the bottom of Peach's dress is level with the top of their head. This puts Peach in an incredibly awkward position where the opponent's ground normals won't likely reach you. Alright, so where does this tech give you access to? A combination of head height float and down air allows for some incredible shield pressure. The down air also leads to some really really cool combos. If you want to do the cool drag down up air combo, just release float right after the fourth hit of dare connects, then flick up on the C stick. As you just saw here, head out float gives you a great approach option. And finally, it gives you a zero to that setup. What more could you ask for? This tech is even easier, believe it or not. So you want to float, but then release jump and flick down on your control stick. Now do that as fast as you can, flicking down twice, once to initiate the float and once to fast fall out of it. 
the window for the fast fall is huge. The earliest you can fast fall is two frames before you release jump, and you can fast fall any time after that. Note that this can be done any time in the air when you have float. This is not a jump cancel fast fall. JCFF is the same tech, but with a much smaller window. It is slightly faster though. JCFF takes months to get consistent. But fear not, FCFF has all the same applications, and you can start doing it right now. Watch Samsora. All of his crazy movement mix-ups in the air are a result of FCFF. He is famous for using this tech to make his movement really something special. And you can do it too. With only a little bit of time in training, you too can have access to these movement options. Alright, have I convinced you that this character isn't too hard? I mean, of course, there's a lot more you can do with the character, but it really isn't that necessary. You can get as far as you want with only these texts, trust me. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. I will respond to you. I also appreciate any feedback, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe.